Moonbase Alpha Status Report, 2,308 days after leaving Earth orbit. Dr. Helena Russell recording. We are traveling through an area of deep space which we have named the Peace Zone. There are no nearby stars, no space storms, no possible dangers of any kind. All should be well on Alpha, but it isn't. We're troubled by sporadic disturbances and petty irritations. One of these irritations has to do with the matter of discipline. Medical technician Sally Martin has repeatedly failed to complete her store's inventory on schedule. As a result, she's been ordered to complete this work during her recreation period. 3.25 grams. And Dr. Helena Russell is a hard-hearted witch. Erase that. force did that to her? Well, the same kind that did this. Well, it couldn't be a laser cut. I don't see how. It's too jagged. It must have been ripped out somehow. Have you checked perimeter defenses? Yeah, I checked. Nothing broke into the base or left it. Well, something got in. It may still be here. What do you think killed her, Doctor? You well, should have some idea. Not at this stage, I don't. John, I'll have to conduct a complete autopsy. Why don't you do that? Tony, I want a complete dossier on the girl. Get it to me as soon as you can. Well, yes, mm. sir. I don't know, it just doesn't make sense. Still getting malfunctions? Minor bugs, Commander. False signals, ghosts. Just get rid of those bugs, okay? Commander? Yeah? I think I may have found our problem. Well, what is it? Some sort of space phenomenon. I'm not sure what. Seems filled with electrically charged particles. Is that the best you can do? The particles seem to be affecting our sensors. All the sensors? No, but I assume we'll get more malfunctions as we get closer. The electrical charge is pulsing at a fairly low level. It's too slight to harm anyone. Another assumption? only go by my instruments, Commander. I assume they are less fallible in their readouts than humans. <laughs> Mate! <laughs> <laughs> 
I won! <laughs> did it again. Just luck, George. Let's call it a day. Sit down! That makes 17 games, Carl. Just a lucky streak. This is a game of chance, right? Sometimes I win, sometimes you win. Only mostly I win. How come I don't win anymore, Carl? I'd just as soon stop now. I'm due back on shift soon. Oh, no. One more. I want to know more about this lucky streak of yours. I want to see how long it goes on. George, please. One more. Play. You. George, break it up. No. All right, now, what's all the noise about? He thinks I was cheating. It sounds crazy, but I don't seem to be able to lose. Oh, oh boy. Well, you better stay out of games of chance. You seem to be too lucky for your own good. And as for you, Crato, if you can't take losing, don't play. Now, get lost. You were really brave. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to interrupt you guys. <laughs> Hi, Tone. Look, I hate to lay it on you just straight like this, but Sally Martin is dead. Oh, no. Sally dead? Yeah. Well, we heard there'd been some kind of an accident, but no one seemed to know the full story. Yeah, well, no one knows the full story yet. The commander would like to ask you both a few questions. Maybe you can help us find some answers. Yeah, sure. And how did Sally die, Tony? No cuts or bruises. No blast burns. No sign that any weapon at all was used. But her body was shattered internally. John, I have Mark Saunders and Carolyn Powell outside. All right, let's talk to them separately. Sanders first. I'll Mark. check these findings with the lab. Mark, sit down. Thank you, sir. I'm pretty shaken up over what's happened. Yeah, so, so are all of us. Whatever I can do to help. Mark, you and Sally. There was talk that you were getting married. But you split up. Why? That's a little personal, don't you think? Yes, it is. But our circumstances are unusual, to say the least. And we have to find answers. All right. Where were you when Sally was in medical stores? I was with Carolyn in her quarters. I was with Carolyn because, let's say, Sally and I had our differences. So you picked up with Carolyn where you and Sally left off? That's still my personal business. And security on Alpha is my personal business, OK? Now. Word was that Sally went around saying some unladylike things about you after you broke up. Are you trying to tell me I killed Sally just to shut her up? You said that, not me. I'll admit I was always jealous of Sally. But I did nothing to get her away from Mark. Then when she and Mark broke up and he began seeing me, she became furious and moved out of the quarters we'd been sharing. She blamed you for the breakup. I tried to explain it, that I played it hands off, but she wouldn't listen. We had a terrible fight over it. Carolyn, we picked up rumors that, well, that you weren't particularly fond of Sally. I didn't hate her, but there were times I wish she was dead so Mark could be free. But I didn't kill her, Commander, and I don't know who did. Now, you're experimenting on something in the labs, a pressure device. That's right. You haven't submitted any reports on it yet. I have an open end priority on research. I don't have to appear before the science board with anything until I'm ready. Just exactly what results are you hoping for? Frankly, I don't know. I'm just experimenting. And now, Commander, if the harassment's complete, 
May I go? Yeah. Well? She's perfected a device that can exert tremendous internal pressure. She's too smart to do something so stupid. Hmm. Nobody ever accused a jealous woman of being rational where her love is concerned. Well, only jealous men are rational. Look, she's holding back on something. I can feel it. Well, that could be, Tony. But I think you're letting prejudice cloud your reasoning. Yeah, well, maybe that goes hand in hand with my being head of security. Commander. You got that message from Alan? Three quarters of our eagles are non-operational. Yeah, I saw that. Sabotage? Could be. Alan's checking it out. What gives you the right to touch this device? Murder. I would like this device explained to me. I don't have to explain anything until I've completed this experiment. Yeah, I know. You already said that. I'm not the science board. No. You're just the one who's trying to humiliate me with your evil ideas. Why don't you just leave me alone? Oh, I will, baby. I will. If you'll just answer a couple of questions about the pressure principle of this device. Questions like, can it commit murder? Is that it? Is that it? Well, here's your answer. <laughs> I can't blame the device for the next murder. Are you expecting the next murder? Aren't you? I've been working with eagles all my life. I've said a cut my granny's throat. It's on record. For the last week, every time a job's come through your hands, we've had a malfunction. I'd be risking my own neck. I'm an eagle test pilot as well as an engineer. You were grounded after your crash. That was nothing. What, no after effects? No. I was cleared by Doc Russell. I'm fully operational again, you know that. Well, if it's not you, what is it? I swear I don't know. Have a look at this. One star but atomic booster motor. In 100% perfect condition. On the bench, she runs like a dream. In the Eagle, She's dead. So I take her out of Eagle, I put her back on the bench and test her. There's nothing wrong. So you tell me what's happening. Chief Engineer Garforth. Report to maintenance section, please. Urgent. They're playing my song, Alan. I gotta go. Yeah, well, I have to report to the commander myself. See ya. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Banks. Nothing like it has ever been recorded. Well, it could be a life form, couldn't it? Who knows? It's affecting our senses so much they can't give us a proper reading. Maintenance. Send Alan Carter down here right away. I left him in my workshop. Said he was coming straight over to you. Didn't he get there? No. Thanks, Pete. If that thing might be affecting our senses, and might be affecting the instruments and the eagles, it might also have something to do with what happened to Sally Martin. Well, it's remote, but possible. Tony, you and Maya go down to medical. Check on those autopsy reports. Okay.
breaking that. You'll play rough, honey. Well, what the hell went wrong this time? Well, I had the motor switched off, and it came on again by itself. No matter how I tried, I just couldn't get it to go off. Even the connections were seized. Yeah, well, I'd call that sabotage. Some unknown force kills Sally. Instruments go haywire, eagles malfunction, an atomic engine starts by itself and won't stop. And all of this has happened since the appearance of that thing out there. Commander, I'm getting new readings. Lambda waves. Something very like them. Lambda waves? No, that's the Lambda variant. That's very strange. Normally, the human brain swings between alpha waves and beta waves, and sometimes lambda waves are thrown off. Rarely, very rarely, the lambda variant. It was discovered during research on ESP and other paranormal powers of the human mind. If that thing is sending off the lambda variant... That it could be affecting some of our people. Oh, yes, it could be. How do we find out? Well, I could conduct some experiments. All right, go ahead. Conduct your experiments. Right. Lambda waves. Mark, sit down. Come. Now just relax. Each of these cards has a symbol on its face. A triangle, square, circle, cross, stars. I want you to tell me. <laughs> oh, I can't see the cards. Exactly. Oh, I see. Well, it beats me, but whatever you say, cross. Another cross? Circle. I'm supposed to move the ball bearing without touching the box. That's right. How? It's easy, just by concentrating. tell you here now, this is not going to work. I'm an engineer and I know metals. Now, to bend this strip, you need a vice and a wrench. Now, there's just no way I'm going to affect this by... Mark. Mark, I was waiting for you. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, I got tied up. Anyway, I knew I'd see you here. Look, I've got to talk to you. Yeah, sure. But we're doing these tests now. Mark, I've got to talk to you. I've got to see yeah, you. Yeah, okay. Oh, no. Yes, we'll speak later. Carolyn, will you be next, please? It'll be a pleasure, Dr. Russell.
John. I know it's late, but... Come on in. I wasn't asleep. I've got the preliminary test results, John. They're fantastic. Well over 90% of the subjects tested showed a significant increase in paranormal powers. They do? Now, the results break down into three groups. The first shows a minimal increase. The second, now that's the largest group, show a significant increase over a wide range. John. Go on, go on. I'm listening. Look, the third group, here's where the results get really exciting. I call them the sensitives. I found three of them so far. Carolyn Powell, Carl Retton, and Pete Garforth. Look, John, you need a good night's sleep. I'd like you to take two of these. No, no, no. John. Helena, do you think the Lambda variant could have anything to do with the way I'm feeling? Look, I don't know that, but I do know that you need some sleep. I can't sleep. Yeah, well, that's why I want you to take these. Helena, I'm afraid to sleep. I remember you said they caught some Venusian disease. Yeah. Something for which there was no antidote for. We couldn't bring that disease back to Earth because an epidemic would have killed millions of people. Before we discovered the disease, two of our crew were on that space station, an advance party, Sam and Tessa. We left them to die with the others. There was no choice. And now, every time I close my eyes, I, I see them standing there accusing me. It's a dream, John, just a recurring dream. Helena, Sam was my best friend. We went through astronaut school together. So we're going to be married. You did what you had to do. Don't you think I keep telling myself that? But it doesn't do any good. It doesn't make it any better. Look, John, you can't go on without sleep. You'll begin hallucinating and break down completely. Then, Helena, if I do go to sleep, I'll go mad. That's an interesting problem, isn't it? Isn't it, Dr. Russell? How do I command this space if I'm, I'm losing my mind? What happened about the test Helena was conducting? Very interesting, but nothing definitive. What is this thing? It's a force field to block out the Lambda variant. Good. That'll upset that whirly gig thing. That's the point to the killer. Whoever still emits the Lambda variant, even when they're shielded inside this booth, could have something to do with Sally's death. Carolyn, there's something I must say to you. What is it, Mark? What's the matter? I've been thinking about us. Ever since Sally died. What about ever since Sally died? I've had this feeling, I can't shake it, that you had something to do with it. How can you say that? You lied when you said you didn't try and get me away from Sally. I lied because I love you. Everything I've done is because I love you. It isn't going to work. I thought you loved me. You said so. I'm confused about a lot of things, but there's one thing I'm not confused about, and that's my feeling for you. What if I said I needed you? That I needed you now? You've changed, Carolyn. Something's different about you. I don't know what it is. I'm sorry. Nothing. But 
thing is still covering the base and there's no way of knowing if we're going to get out of it or not. Commander. Some sudden burst of energy. Like Sally. Well, that thing out there didn't do this. We were watching it on the big screen. It was just sitting out there, peaceful and cozy. Meyer's instruments recorded a tremendous surge of energy just before this happened. Yeah. Well, my vote still goes to the human element, to one of Helena's super sensitives, to be exact. Carolyn? Well, first Sally, now Mark. You name a better suspect. John, I'd like to bring her in for further questioning. Can you hold off until after the next series of tests? John, we've got three suspects now. Let me try to pinpoint it down to one. Okay. One more time. All right. But I want to be there. There you go. Now what? All right. Step in there, please. Mm -hmm. Take this with you. And do exactly the same thing. him out. I didn't mean to hurt you, Mark. I told you I needed you, but you wouldn't listen. You walked out of my life. You might have been able to save me. But now it's too late. It's too late for everyone. That was just fine, Carl. Thank you very much. I only hope it helps. You wanted to see me, Dr. Russell? Yes, Carol. Please, sit down. Yes, of course. What would you like me to do? Well, we'd like you to help us with some tests. Message from Recreation Center, Commander. Tests will be concluded in a... Commander? What is the matter? No. No. No! No! Carolyn, perfect score, just like last time. Now, if you'll take that, step into that booth, please. We'll continue. All right, why not?
I'm sorry, Dr. Russell. Nothing seems to be happening. But it couldn't have been her. I'll make my report. Still, let's not give up. Let me try harder. a child's game, Doctor. Did you think I'd be one of your children? Thanks, Eleanor. All right, Carolyn, you come with us. Of course I'll come with you, Tony. Emergency medical unit, Commander Koenig's quarters, priority one. Complete catatonic withdrawal. Can you bring him out of it? I think so, with narcosynthesis. It's old fashioned, but it's still the safest and best method. It allows the mind to jump all the barriers that it's built up within itself. This is a restricted message from the Deshi to all security personnel. Carolyn Powell is to be found and held immediately. This woman is extremely dangerous. Stun on sight. You're out of place, Alan. Your place is in flight control. Carolyn, please. easy. Down on your knees, Mr. Verdeshi. <coughs> Kneel. Your ghosts hate you. Your ghosts are a creation of your own mind. 
I see them. They're coming back again. You killed us, John Koenig. You left us to die. I see them. You left us to ride away with Venusian Plague. They want me. John! John! No. Look at me! No. Stop running away! No. Look at me! John, face your guilt. Your guilt is creating these ghosts. Face them, John! Face them! I love you. I left you to die. <laughs> but I had to. You knew that. You had to know I had no choice. You had to know I had to do it. You're not Sam. Tessa. You are not Sam and Tessa. I am not guilty. It's all right, John. Now crawl, Mr. Verdeshi. Crawl. Crawl to my feet like a worm. Little alien friend, show us some of your clever tricks. One or two shape changes. No, you will. No. Change. Change into a monkey. Results of the sensitivity test, John. Can you? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. The tests show that the lambda variant is acting as a stimulus to certain aspects of the psyche of those people that are in rapport with it. Carolyn was in rapport, right? Carolyn, and you more than any of the others. Her ESP potential is very powerful. That thing out there wasn't using Carol, and she was using it, right? Not exactly. It seems to be a two-way process. Carolyn hated Sally, and then Mark. Her hatred was amplified to the point that she wished them dead. She drew power from it and used that power to kill them. <laughs> now... the life out of her. No. Please. No. 
No! Please! No! No. I have a better idea. Such a pretty creature. So fragile. It should become a beautiful butterfly. Not enough air. Suffocate. Not enough air. Suffocate. How much air does a caterpillar need, I wonder? But suppose we find out. We can pass the time by watching Maya die. So, it boosted my guilt so that I created ghosts. My own ghosts in the shape of Sam and Tessa. You overcame them. Your ESP potential is the only one equal to hers. That's our weapon. She's very, very dangerous, John. She's been perverted. She can take hatred and turn it into violent physical force. Carolyn Powell has taken over command center. She wants to see Commander Koenig. Commander Koenig will be there. Two ghosts down, one to go. You're in the wrong place, aren't you? You no longer command Moon Base Alpha. Your authority has passed over to me. Has it? From now on, I decide you obey. Carolyn, I know what you want. Do you? You want us to hate you, to attack you, so you can use the energy of our minds to build your strength. It's not going to work. We neither fear you nor reject you. We ask you to come back to us. Use your powers for the good of Alpha. You want to trap me. You want to steal my power. Carolyn, with... I rule Alpha now. Neil! You can't harm us, Carolyn. See, there's no hate or fear for you to latch on to. The only one you can hurt is yourself. Hate me. We can't do that, Carolyn. There is no hate in us for you. Hate me! Hate me. I don't hate you, Carolyn. Helena doesn't hate you. Don doesn't hate you. Tony doesn't hate you. Hate me!
don't fret. It's the same for everyone else. Carl's back to losing games, and Pete can't bend metal strips. Just as long as he can fix eagles. Right. Carolyn, well, for her, everything's gone. Her powers, her memory, even her speech. She's like a newborn child. She'll have to grow up all over again. You know, Helena, I'm still not exactly sure why everything happened the way it did. Well, we were caught in a telepathic web, and it increased the powers of our own minds. So we're back to our unmagical selves. Hmm. Can't say I'm sorry. Well, I am. Just a little. Our brains are such incredible instruments. Just think what we might be able to achieve if we knew how to use them to their fullest potential. Thank you.